Sector 2. Let's go get the last ID card to do whatever the hell. I guess we're blowing up some computer or something. You know, if society was actually like this, blowing up the computer would probably just do stuff like, you know, all of the networks, the internet of this world would just stop working, I assume, and all, every, I assume like every computer would stop working, so crap like doors and stuff would probably not work, but what wouldn't, well I guess like, what is the computer even doing? I didn't get that, what, like, the evil thing it's doing. I just can't imagine that shutting down the magic computer that, like, holds the Earth together is a good idea. And these people have clearly never heard of, like, fail-safes and stuff like that. They've not heard of, like, intelligent computing. But... Video game designers. <laughs> well... People that write sci-fi in general seem to have a very poor design, a uh, poor concept of what robots and computers do. And wow, that really lagged. Yeah, I was wondering if that would be an instant kill or what. I guess you're supposed to jump over it, not under. What's down here? Yeah, and I bet if you fall in this pit, it just kills you. Why are you lagging when I say? Yep. Even though it's like 10 feet down, but whatever. More Sahagans. They are water types. We will use Thunder. Now that that's Pokemon. Does Pokemon black out? Black and white out? I... I thought it was like just... Like the list of Pokemon was like just released a couple of months ago, but... I've seen like YouTube videos of it like in English, so I'm wondering if that's if it's actually out. I should probably not buy it because I will play it too much, but at the same time I do really want it. And at the same time I am very annoyed with the Pokemon franchise at the moment. Well I have been for a while, because the whole damn it. I hate the stuff with the legendary Pokemon where Oh, you don't have all six games of this generation, and you... Once again, I find the frickin' boss door. Anyway, you need... For one thing, you need either to have yourself or... Friends have to have, like... All six games of, like, the current generation and the last two generations and whatever the hell. Let's never go here again. Watch that we need to, when we need to fight the boss. But you, there are also all of these, like, event-only legendary Pokémon where, you know, like, less than 1% of people will ever be able to get. Since I'm from the Midwest, there are no events here. Actually, I think they're, like, only in New York in the U.S. Maybe they have one other. One time I did get, there was some Pokémon Trading Card Club event, and I got a special Mewtwo card. But I'm pretty sure there was no Mew event around here. Damn it. And I severely doubt there was any, like... What the hell are they called? The Celebi event, or like... I can't remember all of the other ones. I just hate the event-limited... Pokémon, because it just encourages people to cheat. Because you can't get all of the Pokémon without freaking cheating. So why don't we just cheat? I mean, I would definitely want to do it fairly. I don't cheat. I really wish I do sometimes. Well, I did when I played it. I haven't played it in months. In fact, I think it's been out for like over a year now, hasn't it? So it's been a long... Yeah, I got it for my birthday last year, so it's like a year and lots of months. What? What's going on here? I take it these aren't platforms. No, they aren't. So what do I... How do I... I don't get it. I'm guessing that's one way. So, yeah, it's definitely one way, but... I never got lost in the levels before. What's with these last two? It's dumb. Scroll rolls. So apparently you can... This is like... 
the exit from some one-way area. Except I got into the exit for some retarded reason that lets you do that. But I have no idea where the stupid ID card is. Fortunately, it's the last one, so I don't think we'll... Why can you even hurt those? I doubt you can destroy them. No. Anyway, I'm pretty sure the last area doesn't make you get, like, ID cards. It would be stupid if it did, but... Anyway, let's just get out of this stupid level and never, ever come back again. Ever. Right, that's... The... So you're supposed to go, like, some... You're supposed to go up or something. Then, like, you're supposed to loop around the top area and then go back to the right over there to find the bus door. But I didn't do that, so I got completely lost, which is stupid. Do I go over here? Is this a... I thought this was a wall. It is a wall. What the hell? Two. What? Oh, it's a shortcut, I guess. Okay, I was thinking, oh, retarded design flaw, this isn't a wall, and you can just... And that's where you're supposed to go. I guess not, though. I really hope this is where I'm supposed to go. I'm going back, like, half the level. Okay, I'm guessing you have to go up to that ladder there. Damn it. I guess I should be pressing the health button more often. Wee, wee. That lava does not like flow like that. It doesn't have like permanent ripples at the surface. Health button. That was easy. Blah. Okay, you're supposed to go up here, which I wouldn't have guessed. Stupid wind turbines. Not sure why you annoy me right now. It'd be awesome if they're like precariously close wind turbines that like killed you if you happen to cross at the wrong time. That's not really what. Oh god damn it! Oh wait, maybe I'm closer than I think. Yes, I am. That's not really what wind tur turbines are for. That's definitely not what wind turbines are for, actually. That would be very an odd use for them. But it's a video game, so. Ah, oh, it is normal. Oh god, let's get that face off the screen before I vomit. Oh god, it's back. Da, the Stupid metars. I should probably find out if that's the right word before I keep using it. But I can't as of right now. Well, I could, but that'd be stupid. Go away, bat, no! Thank you. We go over the lava. No fire, I'm scared. We didn't get the key card. You gotta be kidding me. Where is the frickin' stupid contact? Wait. This is a different area. Okay, I think I'm just confused. Yeah, this is a new area. I just thought that was that one-way fire passage we saw before. It all looks the freaking same. Stupid really police, go away. I guess they're called pill bugs elsewhere. There you are, you frickin'. All of their eyes are horrific. That guy's going to reach his hand into our chest and rip out our heart. You can just tell it in his eyes. Anyway, let's go to the boss and kill it a thousand times over. Because I hate it and I hate this level. And I'm kind of hating this game at the very moment, but... Once again, for an NES game, it's good. Where is this? Damn it. Go. Power suit? Oh no, it's that shortcut thing. And 
now I'm no longer sure if this is the right way. Let's just go this way. Oh, yeah, this is back to the crushy thingies. Stupid crushy thingies. Yes, yes, let's wait. You can't jump in here. That's kind of funny. Because it's exactly your height. And when you jump, apparently your head is not solid. I'm not sure how you can get through that. Because if you jump over it, you take damage, too. And I was thinking that the only way to get to get over it would be to jump over it. But if you jump under it, I don't see how that could work well. Maybe you have to get it right as it's going up, but I think it'd still hit your head. Let's kill some Sahagans. Let's die. Oh, son of a... I can't believe I didn't save after getting through this hellish area. It's not even tricky, it's just... To that. And I'm gonna test my theory here. Oh! Right, your head doesn't take damage, so you can do that. I'm just confusing the sprite with the hitbox, which they apparently don't map together well. It's another mapping issue. Because you would think when you get shot in the head, you would take damage, but no. And you know, in a bullet hell shooter, I expect that your hitbox is going to be super tiny. But there's usually an indication of what it is, for one thing. And this is not a bullet hell shooter, so I would expect your sprite to be the hitbox. There's not much reason it wouldn't be. Damn it. But this is an NES game, so... The sprite was fairly often, like, malformed, and the hitbox was, like, something different. Hitboxes are always huge and not like pixel perfect. So, oh, it's freaking Dragonite! Crap, I forgot to press the health button. I wasn't even paying attention to my health once again. Wait, what? I have like half my health. This guy freaking hurts. Health button. Jeez. Can I d <sighs> This guy hurts. Health button, go. Damn it. Safe state, go. There you go. I should've just been rapid attacking. That's the way to kill, like, all of these bosses. Sector 2 disarmed. Squiggly lines. I guess that's supposed to look like blueprints or circuits or something, I don't know. Arm raise and victory. Password. F passwords. No. Shut up. Those don't exist. You lie. 